What's up, CrossFit Trigger? My name is Cassidy Rhodes, and today I'm gonna be leading you through a 30-minute full-body hit style workout. You don't need any equipment, just yourself, your positive attitude, and a mat. Let's get to it. All right, so this is how we're gonna get started. First things first, I want you to plant your feet just shoulder width apart or hip width apart. Relax your shoulders, roll your neck, and roll your shoulders back. Take a deep breath in. We're just gonna move through a couple of breaths before we get started. What I'm gonna do is tell you how this workout's gonna go. We're gonna breathe and then we're gonna get into our warm up, okay? So, how it is, we have four circuits. In each circuit, we have two sets. We're gonna run through each set twice. Within each set, there are two exercises. I know that sounds like a lot, but I promise you, I'm with you every step of the way. We're gonna move through it and we're gonna get this workout in. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be hard. There might be moments where you doubt yourself, but I promise you, we can do this and we're gonna do it together. So plant your feet nice and firm. Roll your shoulders back. Take maybe one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, breathe it out. Relax, you can do this. Everything's gonna be great. We're gonna move through it and it's gonna be sweaty and we're gonna have such a good time. Inhale one more time. Exhale, breathe. Nice job. All right, my friends, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna just grab our right ankle, try balance, look down to the floor or find a spot anywhere in your room. Knees in line with one another. Tuck your pelvis, drive your hips forward. Feel that quad stretch. If you want, you can lift your hands nice and tall. Really driving your hips is gonna feel that stretch in your quad. Shake that out in three, two, and one. Switch sides, shake it out. Nice deep breath in, reach the other hand up, grab your other ankle on your left side, knees in line, tuck your pelvis, drive the hips forward, feel the stretch in your quad. Reach up nice and tall. Remember, it's not about perfection. It's not about doing every single thing, every single second. If you need the break, take it. Shake this out in three, two, and one. No expectation of how this workout's gonna go, right? We're just gonna have a good time, we're gonna sweat it out, and we're gonna be proud of ourselves afterwards. Let's swing our feet a little wider than your hips. We're gonna drop it down, pushing your knees out into a yogi squat. Now this is pretty intense. I highly recommend doing this every day. It's good for the hips. Really push the knees out, lift your chest up nice and tall, take a deep breath in, and exhale, breathe it out. Good job. Plant your hands nice and firmly into the floor. Lift your hips up. Feel that stretch in your hamstring. Nod your head yes. Shake it no. Start to walk your hands all the way up slowly, one vertebrae at a time. Roll your shoulders back and down your spine. Let's get into our warm up. So first things first, we got some jumping jacks. We're gonna bring it out and hit it all the way up. Now look, if you have any kind of knee injuries and this feels uncomfortable, the option is to modify and just step it out. We're just warming up the body, getting it ready to go. We're gonna have so much fun. I'm so excited to do this. It's one of my favorite hit workouts. Let's go for it, right? If you're in the jumping jacks, we got four seconds, three, two, and one. Nice job, everybody. Let's send it right back to the back of your mat. You're gonna step it here, shoulder width apart. We've got some inchworms. Follow me or watch the first one. Walk your hands all the way out. Stop here, nice big plank position. Lifting up through the hips, try not to bend the knees too much, rolling it all the way back up. Let's keep doing that. Walk it all the way back and then bring it all the way up. Lifting through the hips, remember to keep those knees not locked. You never wanna lock any knees or joints when you're doing any kind of fitness workouts. Rock it out, bring it into that plank. I'm already out of breath. I show you are, we're doing this together. One more time, all the way down. Lock that plank, walk it back up. Good job, everybody. Take a deep breath in, inhale up high. Exhale, cactus out your arms. Open up your chest, gaze up to the ceiling. Inhale high. As you exhale, forward fold. Nice bend in the knees, drop your head. Good. Walk it out to that plank one more time. Abs in nice and tight. You're gonna bend the elbows, keep them nice and locked in towards your rib cage. Drop it all the way down this time. Lifting up nice and tall. All the way, chest is open. Now, this is for the part I need you to tuck your toes, bend your knees, shoot your butt back. Then you lift up into that downward dog position. Maybe you can pedal out your feet here. Take a deep breath in. Nice work. All the way back. We're gonna shift it back into a plank. Hold for two and drop it all the way down into your belly. Lift it up nice and tall. Open up through the chest. Bend through the knees. Tuck your toes. Lift it into that downward dog. Pedal out your feet. Take a deep breath in. We got this. All the way one more time, okay? Shift it into your plank. Straight back. Tuck all the way in to your chest with your elbows. Drop your hips, lift it up. It's just a modified sun, sun style. Bend through your knees, tuck your toes, and lift your glutes up. 
Start walking your hands all the way up towards your feet, and then you're gonna walk your hands up to your legs, slowly rolling your shoulders back and down your spine. Lift your head, roll your shoulders back. We're gonna get into the first circuit, my friends. We got two sets of our circuit. The first one of our set, we got upper body focus, okay? So this is the first move. Let me show you first before we go into it. We got about one minute to just check it out. We're gonna bring in a high plank, hands underneath your elbows, elbows in line with your shoulders. You wanna pike your bum up all the way toward the ceiling. Then you're gonna shift it back to a plank, take your right hand, tap your left shoulder, and take your left hand and tap your right shoulder. Then you're gonna bring it back up to your pike, and then send it back to your plank and repeat that same move. Right after that, 20 seconds of that, we're gonna go right into 20 seconds of mountain climbers. Mountain climbers, same thing, high plank, drop that booty, pull the belly in, and you're gonna pull your knees into your chest. You option to go quickly, as fast as you can, or modification, slow it down, bring your knees in one at a time, keeping that plank position. 20 seconds each, we have about 10 seconds we're gonna get going. First one is that pike to shoulder press, or shoulder tap, so let's go for it. High plank, here we go, in three, two, pike your bum up all the way, 20 seconds of this, my friends, let's go. Bring it all the way back to that plank, Tap each shoulder. Now, a big trick, bend your feet out a little wider is gonna give you a little bit more stability so we don't rock in the hips. Keep your core as tight as possible. Try keep the stability, holding it for five more seconds. Lift, bring it down in three, two, one. Mountain climbers, let's bring it in. 20 seconds here. It's gonna be a big push. Your breath is starting to get heavy. Your heart's starting to pound. Remember that modification to pull each one in. 10 seconds here, okay? Keep going. Almost there, you have five. Four, three, two, and one. Drop your knees, roll your shoulders back. You got a 20 second rest. We're gonna go into set two. With set two, watch me real fast. We're back into that plank position. Lots of planks, nice strong core. You're gonna drop your elbow all the way down. And then the other one, planting your hand exactly where your elbow was, lifting it up, drop it back down. Each one alternates. Keep your feet wide. Then we go straight into 20 seconds of mountain climbers. Let's do this. 20 seconds, commandos. Feet nice and wide, drop your elbow all the way down, take it slow. Option to modify is dropping your knees. Make sure you keep that body nice and strong and straight here. Three, two, and one. Right into your mountain climbers, lift it up. Let's go for it, 20 seconds. Keep going, friends, pull that knee in. Keep your butt down. Make sure your weight is over your shoulders, hands in line with your shoulders and elbows. Pull it right in, let's go in 10 seconds. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop your knees, that is set two. We got a nice big break here, 20 seconds. We go right back in to number one. So pike, shoulder tap, lift that booty up, bring it down, 10 seconds. 20 seconds of the pike and shoulder taps, 20 seconds of mountain climbers, another rest. Let's go, five seconds, four, three, two, and one. Nice and wide in the stance. Lift that booty up all the way. Bring it back to your plank, shoulder tap. You can do more than one each, or you can just do one time on each shoulder. Lift it and tap. 10 seconds here, okay? Right back into those mountain climbers in five, four, three, two, one. 10 at 30 seconds, mountain climbers. Pull those knees in. You're gonna get so out of breath. I'm getting sweaty. We're in this together. Let's go, come on. We got 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five seconds, my friends. Let's go. Four, three, two, and one. Drop it down. Woo! Take a second. We're out of breath here. We're working hard. It's amazing. How lucky are we that we get to move our bodies, right? Set number two, 10 seconds. We have those commandos again. Give it a shot on your off your knees. Let's go for it. Four, three, two, and one, send it down into your elbow. Take it slow if you need to. Remember, we're learning, we're strengthening. Take a break if you need it. Nice and slow and steady. Option to drop to your knees. We've got 10 more seconds. Then we bring it right back down into your mountain climbers. Let's go. Heart's getting heavy. Here we go. Three, two, one. Mountain climbers, send those knees in. My friends, this is a hit workout. Your heart's gonna get high. Push yourself today, okay? I promise you can get through it. We got 10 seconds. Go for it. Come on. Stay with me. You have five, four, three, two, and one. Drop your knees. Send it back. Woo! We just did the first circuit. Y'all are amazing. We're going to move through the next one, okay? The next one, we're going to focus a little bit more on core and abs. 
Ooh, take a breath. I know we're out of breath. It's a great time to have some water, grab your towel, do whatever you've got to do. We're moving into the next circuit, okay? This is what we have. A V-sit hold on the first one. So onto your booty, nice and tight. Pull the belly in. You're gonna lift one leg, then the other, and you're gonna hold right here. Option to lean it back and hold it out. That's the harder one. Or bend the legs. Hold it here. You option to hold onto your knees if necessary. You can take one at a time. This is where we build this core strength. Second exercise are bicycles onto your back. Knees come up. Lower back is glued in. We alternate each one all the way crossing over elbow to opposite knee. Then we'll go into the next circuit or next set and I'll let you know how that works. We got about 20 seconds here to move through it and get ourselves ready. We got this right. Hearts pounding, hip workouts are the best. Remember, we don't have to do this stuff. We get to do this. This is amazing. Hands come up. Remember, we're going into that V sit. So pull the belly in, abs in tight. Here we go, hold. Right here, 20 seconds, my friends. It's gonna shake. We're gonna shake a lot. I'm shaking, I hope you're shaking. Remember to elevate if you want it level up. We can extend, and body's gonna go down. I'm working on my V set hold too. Look, we're all strengthening together. You have four, three, two, bicycles. Drop that belly down, pull the belly in. Abs are in tight, lower, lower back is down to the floor. Keep rotating all the way, opposite knee to opposite elbow. We got 10 seconds here and then we have a nice 20 second break. Let's keep going. You have five, four, three, two, one. Lift it up, 20 seconds. We have set number two. What we have are alternate V-ups. You're gonna send it all the way back, extend, lift, opposite hand to opposite toe, drop it all the way down. These are my favorite core exercises, all the way down. That's your V-up, right into your bicycles again. Here we go, three, two, V-up, extend and lift all the way. Drop it down, nice and slow. Option to when you lift, to just touch your knee. But I want you to get your full body up if you can. Use the momentum, swing your arms a little bit. Lift up and breathe. You have two and one. Back into your bicycles, hands come behind your head. Pull your knees in, drop your lower back. Alternate each one. Let's go friends, 15 seconds of these. Let's go, come on, come on, come on. Don't quit, remember we have a 20 second break and we repeat the whole thing one more time, okay? You're crushing this, let's go. Four, three, two, and one. Drop it down, breathe, 20 seconds. Woo, we're earning these breaks. This is amazing, let's keep going. Look, we're gonna do it again. Remember, this is circuit two, we got two sets. We're starting from the top into that V-sit hold the last time you have to do this, okay? Five seconds we start. Roll your shoulders back, hands come behind your knees, lift one leg at a time. Let's hold, 20 seconds, breathe. Roll your shoulders back. I'm sweating, you're sweating. I probably will tell you a lot about how I'm sweating because we're working out together and this is just who I am. I talk about it, I'm pretty vulnerable on this stuff. You're probably gonna hear a lot of stories about my life, but you know what? I like to get to know you and you get to know me. Here we go, three, two, bicycles, drop it down. Let's go for it, come on, alternate each one. Big twist, woo, I'll be honest. The V-sit hold I added because I'm trying to work on that. We're working on things together today. Let's go five, four, three, two, and one big break. Woo, core is on fire. Take a second to breathe. We got about 20 seconds here. We get the last set, the last set of this one. This is it, 10 seconds. We finish it out, alternate V-ups, and right back into our bicycles, and then we move to the next circuit. You ready? Four seconds. Let's go. Alternate V-ups in three, two, and one. Reach it all the way up. Drop it all the way down. Remember, it's not about speed. I'd rather you focus on the form, focus on lifting your leg and pulling your belly in, using your core and your abs to lift and reach. Rather than that, then with you taking it too fast. Hands come behind your head. Let's hit those bicycles. Come on, 20 seconds and you're done with the circuit, y'all. We're flying through this. We got two circuits left. Opposite knee to opposite elbow. Try your best to keep that lower back onto the floor. I know your core is tired. I am with you here. Rotate, take it slow if you need to. Opposite knee, opposite elbow. Keep moving. We've got 10 more seconds and you're done with the circuit. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Abs are on fire. 
core is on fire, take a deep breath in. Your heart rate is gonna be high on these movements. Everything we're doing is meant to elevate your heart. This is a hit workout. Take this reset. Now we're gonna move into the next circuit, okay? This is a lower body focus. So take a deep breath in, slowly stand up. I'm gonna tell you exactly what we're moving through. Lower body focus, first thing is standing at the top of your mat so that you have some room behind you. You're gonna send your right leg back, 90 degrees in each knee, lift it up for a reverse lunge. Drop the left leg back, 90 degrees in each knee, right here, knee does not push forward, don't hinge forward, lift nice and tall, drive through the heels to stand up nice and tall, okay? Then we're gonna move around and we've got some jump squats for 20 seconds, right into it. Drop your booty down, knees come wide, make sure they don't cave in, lift your chest, big explosion up, soft landing. Option, touch the floor, lift up tall, no jump if we have any kind of injuries, back injuries, knee injuries, that's the modification. Reach and hold your hands up high, push through the heels onto your toes. That is the first set. I'll walk you through the second set. We got 10 seconds, take a breath, send yourself to the top of the mat. Five seconds, my friends, we work through that reverse lunge. Let's go, 20 seconds on in three, Two, one, send it back in that right foot. 90 degrees, make sure you drive through your heel, lift up nice and tall, chest up, abs in. If you lose your balance, don't worry about it. Just keep going, send it all the way back, stand up tall. Drop it down, we're working on the booty here. Go, drop it, lift, five seconds. Four, three, two, and one, send it right here. Let's start our jumping squats all the way up, big explosion. Remember that option to reach up to your knees, touch the floor but I need that butt down all the way. Push your knees out. A lot of times we tend to cave in. Knees come out, big explosion up. Five more seconds, let's do it. Three, two, and one. Take a break. 20 seconds recovery. We got set number two in the circuit, okay? Take a breath, here we go. All the way down. We're gonna be on our knees. I'm gonna show you from the side real fast. Heel, heel, knee, knee. These are called get-ups. We're gonna do that for 20 seconds and then right back into our jump squats, okay? So let's go for it, here it is. Heel, 20 seconds, heel. Keep it low, knee comes down nice and softly. All the way up, all the way down. Let's see, since we're doing it twice, you can focus on just putting your right knee up first. All the way down, abs in, keep it low. Five seconds, okay? Right into those jump squats, all those squat reaches in three, two, one, 20 seconds, let's go, come on. Big push. You can do this, you've done harder things in life. It's just 15 seconds left, let's go, come on. Big explosion, push it all the way up. Explode, let's go, let's go, let's go. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Woo! 20 second break. Oh my goodness, y'all. I'm out of breath, I know you are. But we're crushing this, we're doing such a good job. We have one more circuit after this. We're gonna go through it all the way again. 10 seconds up to the top of your mat, reverse lunge, set number one in five seconds, okay? Deep breath in, we got this, let's go. Reverse lunge, 20 seconds. <sighs> Remember, you're gonna start to doubt yourself when it gets hard. When you start to feel the pain, remember it's only temporary. Everything we're doing right now is temporary. So don't give in to the sensation and don't quit. Do not quit, that's the only thing you will regret, okay? Three, two, one, turn it around, big jump squats. We never ever regret a good workout. 15 seconds, come on. Big drive, remember option, reach. 10 seconds if this is where you are, or we're jumping. Come on, five seconds, four, three, two, one, Woo. 20 second rest, right into those get ups, okay? Remember, if you're focusing on the right leg going down the whole time, we're gonna move through with the left leg coming up and down. So, for instance, if you were just going up with your right, we're gonna go up left first, okay? Drop down to your knees, let's start right here. Three seconds, two, last set. Let's go for it, lift it, stay low. Keep your glutes engaged, making sure your knees are bent, chest is up, Woo. I'm out of breath with you. Let's do it, come on, 10 seconds. We're crushing this. I feel so on fire. I feel so inspired. I hope you feel inspired, you're amazing. Two seconds, three, two, and one. Take a nice break, big squats. Three, two, one, let's go. Last time, big jump, explode. Come on friends, 10 seconds, can you go higher? Can you go faster? Can you reach higher if you're not jumping? Four seconds, three, two, one. Oh my goodness, 
Jump squats are done. Take a break, you have 15 seconds recovery, then we're moving through our final circuit. <sighs> oh my gosh. So out of breath. Remember, it's gonna happen, you're gonna feel it. Don't doubt yourself, we got this. Last circuit, okay? What we have for this one. Watch me first, onto your knees. Another plank, yes I know. It's a full body exercise, it's so good for you. High plank, bend your knees, shift your butt back, hold it here, bring it back all the way back into plank. Shift it back, all the way back. You're gonna feel it in your quads, you're gonna feel it in your core, you're gonna feel it everywhere. Let's do this. Other thing is, don't hate me, just do it. It's the best exercise for you in my opinion. We have burpees. Please come back to my classes. I promise I won't do burpees forever, but they're so good for you. Hands come down, all the way down. Drop your belly all the way. Hands are right by your rib cage. Lift up, jump your feet in, big explosion jump. Modification, hands come down, step back, drop your belly, lift up, step up, stand. You ready? Let's go, my friends. Rocket thrusters in five seconds. Four, three, two, Send your hips back nice and wide. 20 seconds of these, and then we'll drop right into our burpee. So you'll stay in your plank, you'll drop into your belly, and then you'll jump right up, or the modification of a step. Let's go. You have five seconds of these. Four, three, two, one. Drop your belly all the way. Jump up, big explosion. Step it back, or jump back all the way to your belly. Lift it. Big explosion, 10 seconds, come on, keep going. Remember that modification option. You've got this, you've got this. Five, four, three, two, and one. Finish it, finish it, finish it. Woo! 20 seconds. Breathe, okay. This is what we have. Remember, we're all human. We're gonna be really out of breath in a hit class. Focus on you, remember your goals, remember why you came. We're dropping, we're twisting. Dropping and twisting then right back in to your burpees. Here we go, three, two, one. Squat, knees come wide, rotate into the core. Opposite knee to opposite elbow, rotate and twist. Remember to smile, it helps take away from the pain. 10 seconds, come on, eight, seven, six, five. We got our burpees in four, three, two, and one. Turn it around, 20 seconds, let's go. No time to waste. This is a short workout, we can do this. Keep going. Big explosion, jump it back, or we're stepping. Come on, team. Breathe. I'm in this with you. We're doing it together. One more. Three, two, one. 20 second break. Woo! We're shining again. Set number one in the circuit. Let's do it. Oh my goodness. Take a break. Eight seconds. We got our thrusters, you ready? Walk it all the way out. Five seconds, feet nice and wide. Shift your weight back, and let's go. Send it back. Make sure you hit that plank. Send it back. Plank, squeeze your glutes as you come to the top. All the way back. Make sure your hands are in line with your shoulders. Set that plank every time, okay? Five seconds here. Four, three, two, and one. Drop it into your burpee. Lift it all the way. Big explosion. Woo! We are finishing this workout with a bang. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All the way, five seconds. Four, three, two, last one, let's finish it, push it up, go for it, woo! 20 seconds, breathe. Squat to oblique twist. We are in this, man, we are in this. This is heavy, this is hard, but we gotta tell ourselves yes, let's change the narrative, yes? You can do this, squat it down. Rotate to oblique twist, hands come up in three, in two, in one. Rotate, get that knee all the way up. Use your core, drop that booty down, knees come wide, 15 more seconds, okay? Then you have one more round of burpees, one more, that's it. Here we go, five, four, three, two, and one. Get into that burpee, final one, let's go, let's go, come on. This is where we've crossed the starting line to our new leveled up and bad, 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 amazing self. Okay, let's go. <laughs> let's go, come on, come on, come on, you got it. Two seconds, last one. Big drive. 
Oh my goodness. Pop sugar, you did it. You did it! This is it. I'm so proud of you. I hope you're proud of yourself. You're out of breath, have some water. Give yourself a little pat on the back. Celebrate your wins. We just crushed that workout. 30 minutes of a hit class. You're amazing. Let's do some stretches, yes? Whew. Take a moment. One hand on your belly, one hand on your heart. Notice how it's pounding against your chest. The sweat is pouring. The sweat is pouring all the way down your body. Your heart is pounding in your chest. Your breath is heavy. Notice how alive you are. Notice how you just moved. Notice that you just did something that maybe, maybe in moments you thought you couldn't. Take a breath, feel that. Be proud of you. You crushed it. Take an inhale. Exhale, forward fold all the way down. Drop it, feel that stretch. Nice job, my friends. Nod your head yes, shake it no. Walk your hands all the way back up one more time. Ooh, y'all are amazing. Shoulders back and down your spine. Walk to the back of your mat. You're gonna walk out into that plank just for a second, okay? All the way down, drop into your belly, elbows in, lift it all the way up, open up. Bring your knees nice and wide, keep them onto your mat and send it all the way back. Take a moment, feel what shifted, what moved. What did you say to yourself when it got really hard? What did you tell yourself when you thought that you couldn't? How did you motivate yourself? Remember, you have the power and the gift to tell yourself that you can. You have the choices to either evolve or stay the same. And the way we just moved right now, the way that we just pushed ourselves, you absolutely evolved to the most absolute amazing level that you know that you've always been able to achieve. So hold it here, take a breath, breathe. Nice job, we're gonna send it all the way up, down dog. Lift your glutes, pedal out your feet. Take that moment. Inhale, exhale. Walk your hands all the way back up one more time. Breathe here. Slowly walk your hands up. Remember, you want to go slow because we just were upside down. Make sure you bring your head up last, roll your shoulders back. We're going to do that same quad stretch again. We did a lot of quad stuff too. So grab your ankle one more time, finish it out. Drive your head, your hips forward. Make sure your knees are in line. Then you're going to take that same leg, you're going to scoot it in front of you, and you're just going to scoop, feeling that stretch in the back of your legs. Woo! Take a breath. Heart's coming back down. Even if you thought you couldn't continue, you just did it. Celebrate that. Do not sit with the things that you couldn't do. Celebrate your wins, okay? Other side, grabbing that left leg. Knees in line, hold onto a spot. Make sure you take that breath to feel steady. Hold it, breathe. Take that same foot, scoop it all the way up. Exhale, inhale, scoop. Exhale, nice job, my friends. Inhale nice and high, big stretches here. Cactus out your arms, open up your chest. Good, inhale high. You're gonna grab your left hand and then reach it over to the side. Nice job. Inhale, bring it up. Other side, grab your right arm, send it all the way back. Good, inhale, let's cactus out one more time. Inhale high, forward fold, drop it down. This is so good for us. Relax in your head, big bend. Heel toe your feet a little wider than if you're to your shoulders or hip width. Nod your head, yes. Shake it, no. Grab the side of your elbows and then rock it side to side. Feel a release in your lower back. Feel a release in your back of your legs. Plant your hands all the way up. One last time. This is it. Celebrate you. You did this. Shoulders back, neck rolls. My friends, I am so proud of you. I hope you're proud of yourself. That was not easy, but that was a 30 minute hit body style workout. 30 minutes, you just did that. So proud of you. Take note of everything you did. Feel how you feel, celebrate you, walk out proud. And let's do this again. I'll see you next time. My name is Cassidy Rhodes. Have a great day. So one of our viewers asked, how do I motivate myself to do a really hard workout when you know you're gonna be sweaty and it's gonna be hard? For me personally, I think about the reward. Every single time I'm in my workout, I know that whatever I put into this workout is what I'm gonna get back in return. That's the best part about fitness. You put in the work and you get that back. So just focus on the end result, keep pushing, keep driving, and you will absolutely figure out how strong you are and how capable you are. If you have any other questions, feel free to comment below and one of our trainers will get to it in another video.